What a doozle, everybody. I'm Jay Something. As you know, if you don't, where have you been? This is Something's Cooking TV. This is my cooking channel that I absolutely love. It is a channel where I get to make a whole bunch of things that I love to eat. And today is a very special one because we're going to be focusing on uh, the food that Mikasa eats whilst recording their album. Now, I know that that might not apply to you guys and it might just be a fun thing, but essentially what I want to let you guys in on is food that kind of helps the mood, helps creativity and helps you to get a really good day of work in. So it is food that is created with that in mind. As you can imagine, Mikasa recording our album, it's long hours, it's 18 hours a day, uh, waking up really early, sleeping really eight, uh, late, sleeping really late. Um, and it is um, us trying to make sure that we are as creative as possible. So, and not lethargic. You don't want to be eating and then feel like really full. So I want to take you guys through a couple of the dishes that I created for the Mikasa meal plan whilst recording the new album that's coming out. Uh, so for breakfast, First, it's uh, quite a crucial one. Um, instead of um, gobbling down a whole lot of bread and carbs and stuff that's gonna make you feel really full, we wanted to make things a little bit more lighthearted. So yes, we did have our eggs and our bacon and that's a, that sort of thing. But every now and then I would uh, spoil the guys with something a little bit more colorful, vibrant, and uh, different. So today I'm making a chocolate nut smoothie bowl uh, for, for the, that, that was from the meal plan. And smoothie bowls are really popular at the moment. Uh, you see them everywhere. Instead of just drinking a smoothie, you now pour it into a bowl and you get to kind of have it as if you were having a bowl of porridge or whatever it is. What do you need for a smoothie bowl? I wanna show you guys the basic and then I wanna leave it up to you guys to kind of uh, go out there and, uh, and use your imagination and fool around with it. But you, obviously you need a really good liquid, uh, where, whether it's almond milk, whether it's fruit juice, whether it's coconut milk, uh, so forth. You need a, a good source of um, fruit and vegetables. Uh, so whether it's frozen or not, it's up to you. I love freezing uh, my vegetables or, or fruits for the smoothies. Not only uh, does it add coldness to it, but it just helps thicken the whole thing. And then you need some form of a protein, which you'll get, and then obviously a thickener, which I mentioned in the frozen fruits, but if not, you can also add in chia seeds and things like that. Uh, I love, love nut butters, peanut butter, almond butter. They also add a lot of flavor to the smoothie bowl. So let's get straight into it, into my Dolce & Gabbana Smeg Blender. We're gonna get started, it's really easy. So in we go with uh, two frozen bananas. We're gonna go in with a couple of chia seeds and then peanut butter, my weakness. I'm gonna go in with two tablespoons of peanut butter and then two tablespoons of coconut powder. I said two teaspoons of peanut butter, two tablespoons of peanut butter. And then I've got some almond milk. I love the taste, the nuttiness that it brings. So I've got a cup here, but again, smoothie bowls is also up to your desired consistency. So I'm gonna go in with half a cup and see how that turns out. Let's plate this up creamy, nice and thick, so that you can still add toppings on top. Tastes good too. Now this is where the inner artist comes out. It's really just about having some fun. I've got some chia seeds that I'm gonna to top with, some chocolate granola, just to add a bit of crunch, some peanuts as well for the crunch, additional peanut butter, because I'm a sucker for peanut butter, and then a little bit more banana, which I'm gonna slice up. Get some slices going and then just start getting creative. So on the road, when we were recording our album, we had uh, a chef by the name of Denzel. So I would get there for the recording sessions, which would normally be about three days uh, at a time. And we would then come with, I would come with a new meal plan. And I would tell him, okay, these next three days, this is what we're gonna be cooking. Um, and then I would show him once on how to do it. And the guy was just so talented and he loved, loved doing it. And it's a shout out to you, Denzel, for all the work you put in. All right, so a little bit of that chocolate granola, which has got beautiful sunflower seeds and a whole bunch of other goodness. A little bit of a chia seed. Some of these 
peanuts that I'm just gonna kind of mix into these to the granola. And then lastly, a dollop of peanut butter. Just like that. That is really good for you, full of flavor. It's something really different to start your day. It takes no time at all into a blender, whack it in and then just top it in with, with a whole bunch of different things. I'm gonna try and do a whole bunch more of these for you guys so that you have a whole bunch more inspiration around smoothie bowls, but definitely around the summer and spring, these are great ways to have a breakfast, making sure that you fill all the good fats and proteins and fruits and vegetables that we need. So this is what we ate on the road, a breakfast, one of them. My favorite time of the whole damn show, where I get to eat what I've made. Um, there's two bowls, so I'm gonna invite Mr. Son of a Son, Khabo Lihora, Khabo, Khabo. We were discussing about pronunciation and how we as South Africans should talk more or, or get to know one another more by at least learning the pronunciation of one another's name. And apparently I always say it wrong. Khabo, Khabo. It must be Khabu. Yeah. Khabu. Yeah. If you haven't, uh, here we go. He's, uh, uh, you travel with Mikasa, does all the visuals, shoots all the content that you're seeing. And uh, this was the stuff that we ate on the road, as you would remember. It wasn't a chocolate one though. Um, I've never had this. Yeah, so give it a bash. Um, not like you don't know what I make because you've been watching the whole thing. Um, if you haven't seen his podcast or listened to his podcast, go and check it out. It's called Son of a Son. It's about fatherhood and I'm on it. Is it good? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. No, no. Power. Mm. You better say power. Bye, everybody. Bye.